Which makes July 2nd uh, very important for both sides because they'll argue bail. Right now it's revoked. If he's out on bail, oh, go for it. Uh, they'll push the, you know, kick the can down the road. But if he's not, then uh, the state has him where they want him, uh, at least while this is uh, getting ready for retrial. Let's listen to the reaction from defense attorney Daniel Taylor. All right, they'll be back July 2nd again for that important bail hearing manslaughter. Um, would normally facilitate some sort of bail, but the state's going to bring in the Alabama stuff and all of that. Yes, the jury in this case couldn't hear it, but the judge sure can when deciding bail. Is, is that what you would expect, um, that it's the danger of society to society argument? Yeah, he's going to get bail, uh, but they're doing it right because at the end of the day, the Alabama, because you know Alabama is 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 gonna really, really, they're not going to hold somebody for months and months and months on a stalking charge, right? Um, but the fact that he is up for a for a hearing for potentially another uh, uh, retrial, I feel like. You know they're they're going to get him out on bail. He's going to be he, he's not going to be able to flee the country with two states chasing him down and hounding him the way they are. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, a stalking charge is serious because of the fact another person is saying I have imminent fear and I'm in imminent danger if this person is left out. Uh, you know, in society, but. I feel like they'll leave it at a hundred thousand dollar cash bond. I, I don't know if he can afford that, but there will be they, they'll they'll give up they'll issue him bail. Hmm, okay, we'll find out on uh, the second of July.